place has a different atmosphere once night falls. You see this? Oh, two bobbies there. Um, there's a lot of bobbies. Dude, this place is insane. Dude, like, people that's are one smiling as a rotten egg. What? Oh my god, okay, I gotta go. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to We Happy Few. We are now starting to make that sweet progression. We're on island three out of I don't know how many. However, now we've been introduced back into a society where joy is the acceptance. From this point on though, things are starting to get very interesting with I guess like the layout of the buildings and such and also like the towns. We're now beginning to see the true scale of the mirage that joy gives because if you take it, there's nothing but sunshine. But if you come off it, oh my God. I almost feel like without intention. Leads on to my next point. Holy Jesus. Do I need to say what anything this time? I'm not gonna say too much more, guys. I just wanna get into this game because I'm really enjoying the cosmetics and the aesthetics, I guess, at the same time of how the game's presenting itself. So let's go ahead and do this. In the last episode, guys, we managed to enter this place called Maiden Home. And if you're wondering why I'm standing still, wait for it. Patience. All right. Here we go. And. Yeah. The place was like a trash hole. I honestly like coming off of my joy because it makes the game feel like the horror I sometimes want it to be. You know, once we're on the joy, it's like a huge mirage. But then again, I guess that's playing into exactly what the game wants to try and demonstrate. Oh. And I overdosed. That's... What you the heck? You want to be a happy idiot again? Whoa. I wanted to keep my dosage of the joy nice and high, but I think I've gone a little bit too far. You're suffering from a memory loss from long-term drug abuse. You might want to stay out of sight for a bit, otherwise people will become upset at you. All right, well, let me just chill for a sec, but I gotta get my food, water, and sleep all under control. Christ, how much joy have I taken? A little bit too much, I think. I think I'm gonna get some shot eye, guys. I get- No. Nope. I can't even sleep whilst I'm overdosed, so literally, we can't do anything. I just attempted to try and craft some things to maybe bring us down from this high, but you literally can't. You have to just go through it, and I guess wait until the come down comes in, which should be any second right now. Okay, so sleep all done. Now, I do want to get straight back out, because I think now is okay to, I guess, patrol out. There was a nighttime curfew, but, I mean, it's 7.30 in the morning. Let me go for my morning stroll right now. Let's take a look. Is anyone else around? <sighs> Seems kind of desolate. Kind of worried that a Bobby may see me. I don't know what his response is going to be. You know what? One more thing before we get too far into this. I've got 13 of the crafting points. So I want to see maybe what stuff I can get with this. What I'm kind of interested in and what I'm seeing is this split between the combat and also the stealth. I'm always a fan of going like the stealthy route. So I think I may prioritize that at least for now. So we've got this one here. Ear to the ground. Notice footsteps from further away. That's pretty good. And this one here is tippy toe. So sprint quietly. Now you see, that's a good one because when I sprint, I'm always being caught and I keep messing up with that. So I'm definitely going to buy that one. Yes, please. This is open to other stuff. I've got eight points and these two are eight points each. Oh, you. People will ignore your annoying habits. Staring, jumping, crouching, and running will no longer annoy people. That's interesting. I mean, why they ignore us all of a sudden? I have no idea and I don't really care. Or I could focus on this here, the buffier. You are even more healthier, so add another 50% max health. You know what? That's kind of crucial for now. All right, so I'm actually not on any joy. I'm kind of interested at the same time to see if maybe the bobbers will be, uh, I guess, annoyed at me for not being on whilst I'm walking around. Let me just see if anyone notices, like the old lady here. She doesn't. So I can be off my joy. I don't need to be on it at all times. Just double checking this. Let me talk to one of the Lovely people. Weather. How so, long has it been? Hmm. Uh, you know, I'm not going to answer that. But it does seem like when we're off our joy, uh, I guess not on a come down or anything, we're actually okay. We kind of see the town for the neutral zone it is. You know, a bit run down, but still, I guess, try to look this nice place and kind of just about get away with it. But I say we get on with our objectives, and I think it may be this way here. What's kind of interesting as well is when you're not on your joy and also not on a come down, you get this neutral impression of the town. Like if we listen, it's strictly just like the street lamps buzzing away. There's no happiness, you know? The city is how it is, and it makes it feel very, very fake. Like you can hear the static in the background and such. Things aren't exactly the best here. It's all a mirage. So the objective is that way. Now let me just take a stroll on down here. I want to see what this area is. Is it like the next zone we can maybe go to? We'll talk to Constable Collinson. Hey, wait Lovely up. Hold up. For it. Lovely uh, day for a jump it. detector. Oh. I better take my joy. So to get through, hold up a second. Let me press M. I mean, I probably could get around that, so it's not very necessary. Let me try this. Yo, my guy, are you good? Hey, you, uh, Constable Hunt, you okay? I mean, scotch bribing? I don't think he needs it right now. The dude looks kind of, uh, Bruh. well, you know. Casually search the mailbox, looking like nothing in there. Ooh. Dang, look at this place. So we're going in towards here. This is the Bobby HQ. I guess I could kind of figure that on its little podium of grass, okay? Wellington Wells Constabulary Police Station, basically. Finding Faraday. Ask the duty officer. Okay, let's go on in. Couple of people in here. So uh, walk through though. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? Please? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. All right. Elaborate. Or, uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. 
Okay. Oh, for heaven's he sake. He's not in a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which okay. are the birthright of every English citizen. He's got to get his arse spanked. Hmm. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm wow. from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation Keep into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the Whoa. maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Whoa. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festivance will include the name of the last person I talked to. Whoa. Will that be you, Constable? Ooh, or the chap dude. who keeps the constabulary's address book? I mean, In no smiles case, right sir. there. Why don't you take mm. the elevator on up to records? That's how it's done right there, guys. Yeah, you are. Thank yep. you. I shall. Okay, Arthur, look, you've got this what like. The hell is festant? Yeah, I'm asking the same thing, to be honest. Of his liberties. Yeah. But he made all the bridges. Interesting. Before we go up, hold up a second. We have more of these kind of police uh, boxes, whatever they are. If I get in this one, I'm probably going to die, so let's not do that. Arthur's poker face, though, honestly, man, that's impressive. If I press the button, um. Nothing happens. Now that we're in here, though, guys, nothing can stop us, you know? Uh, the buttons, I think they would maybe open the doors or something. Let's go ahead and go down, then. So we are to take the elevator on to the records place. So let's go ahead and do this. See, we find... Possible Hastings, is it not? Uh, yes. No. Uh, it's Arthur. The of course. course. Went away. Odd. Oh, man, that's a bad memory. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then, I suppose you I'm do. about to punch this guy from I'm these Arthur. memories. Oh, the haste again. Yeah, come on, let's go. Memories play tricks on you. He Do knows. Ooh, he knows we're not on our joy. Or he knows something's not quite right. He looked different, very unique. You must get back on board. This is why. How old are you, Mr. Hastings? We I'm lied to him. 13. They typed my birthday wrong on the card. Why didn't you want to go? Why are you here? You would have just gave my brothers to the train. Why did he do that? You know? I've got so many questions right now. We're going to learn exactly what Arthur was doing. Because the whole thing initially... Uh, can I help you? The whole thing initially was about Arthur, like, I guess, wanting to be with Percy. But back then, he wanted to persuade the people so that he didn't go with him. And it's a case of why. Was he scared of, I guess, going to Germany? Or was there something else going on there? Second question. Can I beat the freak out of this Bobby right here? You know what? Let's go ahead and search the place first. I don't want to really be doing that, to be honest. So ask the records constable. We just do a little bit of searching here. Electro lock shocker. That gives us access then to, I guess, locked up places. We have a two sergeants urgent. We'll take that one right there. I don't know how careful we need to be right now. Uh, we do have this constable patrolling. Oh, this Bobby right here. But I don't know if he's going to, I guess, spank me if he sees me going in a place like this. So I'm going to keep doing it. A lot of goods in these places. Another one to Constable Bev. I'm going to go ahead and pick this desk. Come on, Arthur. Uh, uh, what, what the freak are you doing, Arthur? If it worked, I don't care. An electro lock shocker again and some duct tape. That's awesome. Uh, in here, shredded something, and we can use the ventilation system. It looks like uh, some kind of mass storage zone, maybe like paperwork, documents, things like that. Let's go ahead then and ask the records constable, because that seems to be the place we maybe got to get to. Just do here then. This will be our guy. Hello? Let's do constable this. Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Mm. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. Good. All alphabetical. I'm okay. quite proud of it. Give us the information. Where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. Wow. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable if you had platform shoes. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm not laughing. The freaks Anyone else this, this you'd dude, like you know? me to not on, tell right you the address of? You're very helpful. Yeah. That's what everyone says. If there wasn't no, a pane of glass between I us. I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, okay. the warm sun on your coat. Okay, okay, One sounds not bad. And they put you in the records room. So you messed up. Like it's the guy hardly in the fair. He Let's was talking, breathing huh? when I left him. Wait, um, maybe you belong in there. So I'm going to find an alternate path, okay? <laughs> Get Dr. Faraday's file location by any means, okay? So we do have a card read around the corner, and I'm starting to think that this constable just simply patrolling, he may just have it on him. You wait for him to go back. All right, let me go ahead and see what's in here. I'll close it behind me too. Uh, I don't know. This may take us the right way, you see? I thought this was going to lead us maybe uh, back on ourselves. Now this is looking like exactly where we want to be right now. So Arthur, take it nice and chill. Let's get this done nice and chill. <laughs> 
<coughs> I really have no questions, you know. Maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. Uh -huh. F for Faraday. Yeah, or F for, you know, uh, f one, guys. We don't say those words on the channel. And now, where's this constable's footsteps? There's one that... That might be the one patrolling, perhaps? Gotta be real careful right now. Don't see any. He's stationary looking that way. Um, he looks like he's maybe just simply looking through the window, too. Where is this other officer? I can hear him. He's going that way. Hmm. This gives me a little bit of time, I think, this way. To maybe try and find the document. It says S to Z. I've gone the wrong way. What am I doing? E to J. This is going to be our hotspot. So, footsteps. If he keeps going that way, we should be able to, I guess, sneak up and get on the ladder. Okay, look. Just going to keep going. So, we can search the file cabinet. I guess we'll keep oh, going. Oh, lovely. A I'm down famous. Wow, okay. So, we made the newspaper right there. All of them need, like, lockpicks and stuff, you see? Um, this is definitely our ticket, though, right here for Faraday, you know? You can't hide from me. What? Wait, what? Did he see me? Because of the sound. So wait, what do I do? Do I have to take him out or something? All he does is patrol in like a circular path, okay? So I think that's his footsteps there. I'll just wait up a second. Maybe there's a way to actually get them out of the place though. Maybe I should try and see if maybe pulling the uh, alarm over here will get them out. Oh God, I'm in a trick. I gotta go guys, I gotta go. This was bad. Okay, back under here and we'll close that. There we go, good stuff. I did pull the switch. Um, I don't know if they're gonna fall for it, even though this dude right here has clearly seen me. Um, let's wait and see. There's three of them right in there. No, wait, four. I don't know what to do. I don't think I did finish pulling the alarm. That's incredibly awkward though. I don't know what I need to do from this point on. This is difficult. Hold up. Their alarm is going away. So if I manage to pull that switch, okay, I think then all of the bobbies will definitely go outside. That's gonna have to be, I guess, my plan of action. I don't know what else to do. There's also two patrolling in here now. Are you kidding me right now? This freaking sucks, dude. I don't have time to pick any of the locks in between either. What do I do? You know, what do I do? Try this one more time. Okay, there we go. I did pull it. I don't think it does anything. You see? Um, they're running, but that's all they do. And then they just stand there. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Try and pick one of these nice and quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta be quick. It could be any one of these. Go, go, go. He's right next to me. I gotta go. I gotta go. On the low. I gotta dip this way, I think. Um, he's always facing the wall, so that's fine. There's one. Yeah, just over there. There's two of them still. I take him down. I can't. I can't take down the bobbies. Dang it. I just straight up opened that in front of him. Um, look, I'm running again. This seems to be the best way, I suppose. I think this is the very last one right here, guys. So search that one. The last one. He certainly does have this place organized. Wow, man. All right. That's going to be our solution, I guess. And how do we get to Lud's home? Aren't they renovating it? Just wait here. Let me shut this. You see, there's that guy on patrol, but I mean, there is a small problem, guys. We're just gonna, uh, you know, mosey out of here. How's it going, officer? One check inside the uh, records place because there's dead officers in there. As I gotta go, I gotta go right now. So is the other constable down? They found him. You see the bomb right there? <laughs> now before these bobbies start realizing things went south, I gotta get the freak out of here. Bobby Hicken, both them. Okay. He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass okay. spent. <laughs> Literally. Mm -hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's home. Maybe I could borrow it. How the heck are we gonna do that? So visit the Reform Club at night. For such a joyous place, the weather looks awfully groggy, you know? You know, I'm kind of enjoying take being- your joy immediately. What? Nothing there? You will take your joy it, Okay, cool. I can't run. I can't move. Those you things do away. exactly what I thought. So they That's do actually alert the officers. If you're not on your joint, you see one of them monitors, you gotta be real careful, okay? The Reform Club. Club. Yeah. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? Literally. The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lutz wow. I so have the modest feeling about this place. Come back after Marcus 9 p.m. should come back. Hmm. Maybe not during the day. Take that. Okay, I have to take everything as well, I guess during the uh, night hours around here. I think so, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this one, guys. I guess we have no choice, though. I'm gonna head back to base, get some sleep in, and I guess we're gonna go from there. I guess. Lovely day for it. Blood. Bloody lurker. You're scaring me. Are, are you not scared by the guy that sat whilst walking? You know what, guys? Before I go back to base, I'm feeling a little bit sneaking right now. I just found this random house. Oh, for forever. God's sake. That is incredibly hey. awkward right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like, I had to do what I had to do, so uh, I'm gonna put the body, I guess we'll put it somewhere here? And it was nice trading homes with you. <laughs> anyway, see, now this is good because you get a load of good items in here. Look, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I gotta survive around this place too. There's another person just here. I mean, should I take them out or not? I mean, no, they're kind of standing up. That make it a little bit more difficult, you know? Though it is only the one, let them walk away. Where are they going? See, that, that's even worse. That's much worse. You no, know guys, I'm out of this place. This is a bad idea all around. Yep, I'm done. Problem is, uh, I think she's just found a friend. Yes, yeah, she has. What is this? Trap controls, disarm the controls box. Wait, for this thing here? So 
I could zap the bobbies, but why would I do that? First of all, let me do a little bit of scouting here. I want to see why I would even think about doing that. What are these bobbies trying to hide, and why am I so interested in killing two more people? City employees only, high voltage. I don't even know what those fumes are. Awfully pink, even off the joy. Interesting. You know what? I can actually do either or at the moment because I need either a short spike or a polarity device, which I've not heard of either. Let me see if I can maybe craft them. We'll save that one for another day, I think, and I'm not going to go taking any joy if I'm going to go sleeping right after. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, so I'm going to make it back then to, I guess, our residence currently, and then we'll go back to the club at 9 o'clock. All right, let's go ahead and get this done then so we're back. Um, so sleep until about 9 o'clock. I'm just concerned, though, that's after curfew. Because we've already been told that it's like a nocturnal ban in place. I think they said it was. Let's just go ahead and try this, I guess. About six hours sleep. That seems like enough. That to should get sleep, us through the night as well. A chance to dream. Yeah. Anyway then, guys, it is now 8.31. Let me just do a bit of scouting. The streets are so barren. It's literally just me right now. There's an officer straight ahead as well. I don't know how this is going to be done. i got to sneak my entire way to that place. Oh, man. There's bobbies everywhere, too. One coming that way. There's one coming down here. I want to try and get to my right-hand side. I feel like that's going to be the best way to get to this place. All right. So that Bobby is turning on that side street. One straight ahead here. I might bribe him with scotch, you know, just so I can get a bit of a pace on. Let me just see which way he turns from this point on. Ah, straight back at me, okay? Look, I got some scotch. Here. You want some? Yeah. I want you to have this. Go ahead, take it. All right? I won't be seeing you. Well, I'm going to try and do some running, you know. The scotch did work, which is good. Okay, so there's one there. Now, what is that on the floor? That seems like something of interest. You know, just one second. The Bobby sees me. So at the moment in time, there's no curfew, I guess, in place. I suppose it's only when it goes past a certain time of night. It might be like 9 p.m. There's a lot of bobbies, I guess, to be risking this. I don't know. Should I? No, we're not going to... Okay. What? They just, like, all vanish. Good citizens are home in their beds at night. If the police catch you lurking about the village at night, they will give you a jolly good thrashing. This is where the sneaking stuff comes into play, then. We are 200 meters away. We should be able to get this. Oh, now the place has a different atmosphere once night falls. You see this? One ahead there. Hello? Two bobbies there. Um, there's a lot of bobbies. There is a lot of bobbies. You see all these people? I ain't gotta go ahead. Only way. I've got an alleyway here. That's from Rose of Gilead. So health. I will take it. Okay. Where's this guy going, huh? Like he may be going straight ahead. Simple patrol route. Then I see that. How am I gonna get around these two? They're constantly turning around. I don't think sitting will cut this one, you know? Definitely not. This is difficult. This is real difficult, you know? Here they come. Maybe if they walk toward the end of the street here... I'm gonna go for it. Look, I don't have any time to even wait. It's a one chance thing here. This may mess up. Keep it going, you dinguses. Look at you. Dinguses! I'm not sure if I can walk, you know. Um, I'm gonna keep on the low. Now, I'm gonna walk. Okay, we'll search this. I had a lot of stuff in. Let's keep this moving. Nice and easy does it. So if this place is open at 9 p.m. only, why would they do- <laughs> That dude is still drunk as freak! And that dude- Okay, now this is gonna be a problem, I think. So maybe I- What? Oh crap, oh crap, okay, hide, hide, hide. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, I gotta hide, V. Don't um, me hide. What is that? Stay here forever. Look at that, they got drones? That's concerning as heck. Right there, you see? It's like a flying drone, it's real quick as well. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Um, they got like blimps? Oh my god, there is a lot of stuff at night that is different, man. Okay, he's, he does see me okay, but... Um, you okay. Your Him as well? Oh my gosh. Okay, if I keep a pace on, I should be alright. Just around this corner here? No bobbies down this area. It seems kind of off limits. I'm just gonna get in here. The blimp, okay. Let me hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Yeah, I see you, I see you. Okay, go open, open, open. The freak? What the? Is this a... Have I been set up right now? Bro, there are so many right now. I don't want to kill them, but I got no choice. It's alright, it's alright. Sit down, alright. You're welcome. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa! Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get out. Go, 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 open! How? Oh my god, this is real bad right now. He's like a boss, you see that? So if I had my joy, that would help out so much. Maybe I can take him down if I'm real lucky. Okay, shove him, shove him. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. And there you go. Woo! My health is awfully low. I had no choice. Okay, I'm gonna have to lock this, guys. I can't have anything coming through. Uh, let me search Constable Roland, son. This is a known place, then. Okay? Now, the only problem is I've... Well, I've obliterated every single person outside. Let me just, uh... Let me go ahead and stack those bodies up. There you go. Like, nothing ever happened, okay? <laughs> what the heck? Why the door shut? I mean, look, I'll just pry this open, okay? I don't really think they're gonna keep me out by just dropping some shutters when you've got, like, a single pane of glass window here. All right, here we go. Let's do this. So I should have taken some joy. And that right there also is a memory? 
Okay, what we got? So we have to find a way to join the party. I think a key point is maybe taking our joy. So constable use only. That's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna search all these. There's a load of metal stuff. This is all handy. Drop some stuff, Arthur. Freak. Or it's gonna be tediously what? slow What's that? going. A rubber? Wait, wait, hold up. A rubber cat suit. Okay. Alarms anyone who's not a rubber fetishist? Guys, I have oh, some concerns. I'm not a perv in this suit. Yeah, I'm- At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Okay, so it has some benefits. Uh, look, memory time, let's get this done first, so canning. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Um, Percy, they said you got a caning at school. A oh, caning? Canning, I said, yes. jeez. Did, did it hurt do? very much? No. Okay. Are you sure you're gonna be alright? Yes. Okay. Do you understand why? Why you... What? Well, why you got the caning? Yes. No, he doesn't. Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Leslie Crowden's face? Bang. No, I didn't! Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. <laughs> okay. Did it then go into Leslie Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. Okay. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around the... He came around the corner. Okay. Oh, right. that's not at all your fault, then. Oh. <laughs> Good. Are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. Yeah. I hate it when you're sarcastic. Wow. No. Interesting. Got a safe down here. Hold up. So it requires a disposable safe cracker. Yeah, I definitely don't got one of them. Let's go ahead and open this. Um, okay, we've got another rubber suit there. A rubber cat suit. Guys, this is a weird mission, okay? Go ahead and open this one. Ooh. Um. Uh, <clears throat> poor guy. Yeah, I'll take this though. Having so nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. So this is kind of like a shocker. So Lulu Pook deceased. I guess we better uh, press the button, you know? It lets us do- That is the worst design for like a security feature I've ever seen. So there's the baton next to some peaches. There's a constable here completely right. out of it. I can take his stuff and then mm -hmm. I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials. Is that what we're gonna do? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. There's the council worker's ID. Take that one. Now, why am I kind of interested? Hey, I mean, I fit in right? I'm completely normal? Um, yep. Yeah. Dang, her face though. Let me just go ahead. Dude, this place is. <laughs> hold up, let me do. Hold up. I might. Who's wow. There? No, oh, I don't want to be in on this. I'd love to chat. Mm -mm. But I'm so discombobulated okay, right now. I'm kind of glad. Can I back I can't out? I'll find my magic wand. Okay. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. Okay. But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? No. Let me just, uh... uh... Oh! I, I see! Dude, this place is insane. Like, people are Smiling is a run egg. What? Oh my god, okay, I gotta go. Woo! Okay, let's just get out of here. I mean, I looked at one of the cabinets, and that was enough. Maybe if I just no. sit and chill. Nope. Just rest in Maybe I'll be alright. Yeah. Wow, okay, I didn't see that either. <laughs> is that her magic wand? Freak is that? use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. Dang. I have a powerful. feeling that's not what they use it for, though. Hmm. Yeah, that looks powerful, though. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Guys, curiosity. Wow. That's um. New. It's, uh, it's interesting, yeah. We've had our fun, guys. We're done. Hey. All right, guys. I'm going to have to run all the way back. Up. Okay, there's gas there. Right, if I take a little flank route. This is bad. Hold up a second. Hold up. What am I doing? Wait, gas mask, gas mask. Where is it? Where is it? We're going to pop that one on. Okay, guys, for context, I'm in a gimp suit in a gas mask running through this zone, okay? No more context is required whatsoever. Uh, what the frick was that? Home should be right here. Yep, here we go. I gotta get in this place. That was close, but we got it done. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sleep until about 8 in the morning. That seems about reasonable. And it's then we're gonna head over and talk to... Was. I was talking. I think the plan right now then is to head over to the English Vice thing. Uh, I want to continue this quest and see these things are still going off. The constables don't even care either that I haven't taken my joy. You see that? So this is gonna take us then down a different route of the town. You see, the floor hasn't been paved whatsoever, so it's kind of bare bones, I guess. Let's go ahead, get through this, though. We don't need to be here much longer. Let's try and proceed with this quest. Along, what please. is that? What's done is done. Wow. To see here. Um, Past is interesting. Now, now, mind guy? your own business. Okay. What happened to him? Yeah. Oh, I'm not quite sure. He's been a solid citizen long as I've been on this beat. I think today he's gone on about leaving Hamlin, waving around a suitcase like a rotten downer. Dang. Well, we can't have that. Don't know where he thought he was going. Nobody goes to the Garden District, don't have to. Maybe he had relatives across the bridge. <laughs> That's right. 
There's been an outbreak of relatives across the bridge. Right. Has there been an outbreak of downers? Um, no. Of course yes, not. Yes, there has. There's nothing to worry about. Interesting. Well, that's a relief. Hmm. I'm sure the joy is just as good as it's ever been. Each batch just gets better and better. Okay. <laughs> you keep taking it. It will take care of you. All right. Well, that's that then. Uh-oh. That's one of those joy shockers, isn't it? Yeah, I need to go find me some joy before I go through there, I suppose. Yeah, hang on a sec. Let me go ahead, pop a joy. I need to get through where there's that weird little, like, shocker thing. All right. Saying that, though, if we're in the gimp suit, then I think it just makes us resistant to electric. But I can't risk it, okay? I can't. Ah, even on joy, a dead body still looks dead. So, yeah, there's only so much these things can do, really, then. Looking like, yep, yeah, open the trap panel. I don't need to. Go on through. Look, I'm fine. I'm all good. You know, I'm actually surprised. There's a lot of random accents around here. You see another car? Um... It's an... Okay, he's through the floor. Officer... No, I better not search him right in front of him. But... The heck was that all about? That dude's getting triggered. What are you doing? Okay, it's because I'm staring. So I look away and I'm good. Okay, be ready. Because the joy... Yep. It's going to wear off any second. Get out of sight of everyone. And I got to wait someplace safe. Just whilst I'm having the uh, downer side of things, you know? Trying to overcome the withdrawal symptoms. This looks good enough, this place here. And there we go. We are now all good once again. So let's make our way then to the bridge. Ooh, this is interesting. It's almost like we're leaving along the other side. Now, okay, the med- what does I say? The Megiddo Bridge? Now, where does this place drawn up over here? Is it related to that bridge? I don't know. Hmm, it seems like this place is actually linked to the island we're on. Maybe more in that direction there. But if we go out there, it looks like we're then leaving where the joy currently is. Okay, let's go and talk to the uh, constable and see what happens. See, it's definitely not as well presented. Yo, Bobby, let's have some Excuse talking, me. all right? Oh, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's mm -hmm. Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone so drop by the lab, you know? Wow. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? Okay, no, my I camera's dying, all right? And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the reform club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Beauchamp? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. Wow. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions you at don't his know. reputation. I have been ordered by the general himself to ask for credentials from the beautification committee. Have you got any? I guess we do. You know. Here you go. Bye. Take a look. Watch out Ooh. for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. Okay. They're like mad dogs. And they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Okay. Oh, you better take these in case what you do it? catch plague over there. Hmm. Not that I would wait. All right. You better watch your lips. Okay, then, guys. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We got a lot done for this one, and we're about to enter a brand new zone once again. So I guess we'll look for a safe house once we do. One thing, though, I really want to head over to this building plant here. You know, I feel like we haven't had a chance to experience that, but there's so much more for us to go and explore, you know? Like, look at this. It's so cool. For this one, we are going to leave it right here, and I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.